Hi, I'm Chip. If you have a washing machine that doesn't agitate or doesn't spin, it may be your shift actuator. You can use your service diagnostic mode to diagnose this problem and I'll show you how to fix it. So stick around. Okay, before we start the video, let's first uh, define what shift actuators are. Uh, this video is going to cover the Whirlpool style shift actuators. You have your basic black one, and they also make a brown or red uh, shift actu actuator. The Whirlpool styles are really two uh, tools in one. They uh, they have the little motor that shifts the splutch to, to shift your washing machine from agitate to spin mode, and it also has a tachometer on it. And if either one of these fails, you have to replace the whole unit. Okay, if you can see see in this uh, picture here, this is where the shift actuator is on the bottom of your machine, and you can see where the little arm uh, contacts the, the splutch. Here's a, a few models here. of a, Here's a GE uh, type shift actuator, and, and it only does one function. It, it shifts from agitate to spin. It doesn't have a uh, an RPM or tachometer indicator on it. And here's a, a higher end direct drive a Kenmore model that has a, a slider that goes inside an electromagnet. That, that black round piece in the middle of that rotor is really an electromagnet and uh, when it's activated it it pulls a slider into a spring that, that engages the, the tub of the, the spin tub of the machine. Here's a washing machine that won't agitate or spin. It, uh, you can hear the, the shift actuator turning in the bottom and, and the motor will try to spin up and as soon as, it, as soon as it starts to spin, it stops. So what we need to test is the, uh, see if the tachometer is working on it. And to do that, we need to go into the service diagnostic mode. And I like to start at 12 o'clock. So you would turn your main wheel counterclockwise to 12, then three clicks clockwise, one, two, three, one click back, one click again, and all your LEDs should flash. Now this puts it into the service diagnostic mode. Now to test your tachometer, you want to turn your knob clockwise until the done light and the wash light is on. Now to test the, the tachometer, you would hit the start and you still have your done light on. Then you would open the lid and you would slowly rotate the drum. And as you do so, look at your LEDs, they should flash from done spin, rinse, wash, done spin, rinse, wash. They should they should go round and round. So we know now that our tachometer is faulty on this one. So the tachometer is built onto the shift actuator. And it's, it's accomplished by a little wheel that's internal that has slots in it passing over this electric beam here. Maybe a laser. I'm not sure what it is in there, but but there's a wheel that passes through there and it tells the the, the washing machine that uh, the motor is spinning and how fast it spins. However, if this is good and you've changed it and you still have this problem, then the problem is going to be in the control board. Here you can see the, the little gaps in the internal wheel. Part right here bridges that gap when you put it on, and that tells the control board the RPMs of the 
of the motor. Okay, we determined that this it, that it was not the control board causing the uh, RPM problem. So we changed we changed it with a different shift actuator. I've been using used shift actuators in in this machine. So I put the original control board back and I changed the shift actuator one more time. I need to put it in diagnostic mode again. And I always start at the top and you have to turn it counterclockwise to begin with. So I turn it all the way around. One, two, three clicks clockwise, one counterclockwise, and one back. If you don't do it within six seconds, it won't work. So and you have to plug it in. Ha! Also, once you plug it in, you need to give it a minute or two for the capacitors on the control board to load. Sometimes you can hear a click or two. All right, let's try it one more time. One, two, three. Back one, back. We have all our lights flashing. So we're in service diagnostic mode and we need to put it into the RPM or the tachometer test. And the tachometer test is when the done light and the wash light is on. And we always go clockwise to, to advance to these features. So there we have it. And you push start to begin it. And then I open the drum and I'm going to slowly spin the drum. And look at there, we've got it fixed. Now we have the tachometer working. Success. So we should have been a, we should have this machine fixed. So we'll go through the test modes of it. Oh, we'll have to get out of it. Four. Lights are off. We'll go back to the test mode. All our lights are flashing. And we want to go to done and spin. Push it one time. We want it to spin, so we need to lock the lid. So we push the start button one more time. The lid locks. Now, if we go back to where the... This is now in the spin mode with the wash and the done on push start and we'll see what happens give this the shift actuator time to shift and the motor to spin up I heard the shift actuator I don't know can you hear it that's success we fixed this successfully fixed this machine we determined that it was a shift actuator sometimes it's not the shift actuator it can be in the, the wiring harness so you have to be aware of that so it's in it's spinning now but I want to test the agitate mode too so this is in the low spin this would put it in high spin and this is in low agitate now, one cycle has to finish before the next starts, and it's still spinning in the tachometer. It's, it's telling the machine that it's moving, so it won't go into agitate until the, the tub stops spinning. I can still hear it. All right, I'm gonna push the button. That should go into low agitate. Give the shift actuator time to change positions. Agitate once. That should be the, the first test. And there we go. You can hear it. Here at agitating. So we've successfully fixed this machine. So to get out of the, the test mode, hold the start button down. 
till all lights are off. Another success. Hey, if you got any value from this video, I appreciate a like and subscribe from you. It really helps my channel, and I'll see you on the next one.